Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fonden and I'm the author of Heal Yourself, A Return to Wholeness, The Integration of Body, Mind, Soul, and Spirit. I'm also the author of Twin Flame of Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. All of my books are available in paperback, Kindle, and Audible books. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, romance, twin theme, general readings, life path and purpose. You can book that on my website, michellefondantauthor.com. Welcome to the Divine Feminine Reading messages for divine feminine today is friday and it is june 18th 2021 how are you doing divine feminines i feel like my divine feminines this week need some extra love and affection so we're going to say a nice prayer over the cards dear god jesus holy spirit mother mary archangels angels of god divine feminines guardian angels let this reading be of the highest light and love of god the father let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, please stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sword of light. Romance angels and twin flame angels, please help twin flames around the globe to understand the energy for divine feminines for this week. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pick. We're going to start with the fairy tarot cards here. We're going to pick for the fairy tarot right here. And we're going to just get one card here and we are going to pick one from this is the angel therapy deck and we're going to get one card here and we are going to get oh shoot <laughs> Sorry, I had a little shell there. I don't know if you can see it. I feel like with the camera angle, you can't see the abalone shell I actually have on the table. But when I was putting down the card deck, the shell almost fall, fell off. <laughs> so this is messages from the angels, daily messages from the angels. And we are gonna see what comes out here. These are the beautiful unicorn cards. I love these. So unicorns, magical unicorns. This is a very um, child-friendly deck <laughs> that I absolutely love. And I feel like the messages are very light and inspirational, okay? And we are going to pick from the Mystical Wisdom right here. Mystical Wisdom, Divine Feminine, Guardian Angels, what do Divine Feminines need to know this week to learn and to grow? I feel like this message needs to come through. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So divine feminines, <laughs> divine feminines, my dear divine feminines. First and foremost, one thing you need to keep in the forefront of your mind, if you're watching this, is that I am a divine feminine twin flame too. <laughs> so I am along this journey with you. I am your peer. I'm not your superior. I'm not some sort of like messenger from above. I just channel messages from the angels, guides, the archangels, and God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. And I want to tell you that I am not above you in any way so that what you have been feeling lately, and I know that many of you have been feeling just the stress and the weariness of the twin flame journey. And if you have not yet viewed the video that I published on Thursday, just yesterday, I'm going to put the link right here about are you one of the 10% who is going to make it? <laughs> and the reason I published that is because I sense the frustration. I hear the frustration. It's been crazy. So I know perfectly well that many of you are so incredibly frustrated, but I really believe that your angels, divine feminines, came to the rescue today today they came right to the rescue you've got the prince of summer first and foremost what is the prince of summer the prince of summer is the knight of cups or the prince of cups it is the knight in shining armor that comes in with 
love letters, romance, flowers, chocolates, um, gestures of love and affection. This person is deeply, deeply in love. And I want you to know, Divine Feminines, that your person is coming with a gesture of affection. What person is coming with a gesture of affection? Your twin flame. Like, do you believe that? I really feel like your angels needed you to hear this today. They needed you to hear this today, Divine Feminines, because you have been so stressed out. So many of you have been doubting the journey. So many of you have been wanting to abandon the journey. Look, I, I picked from five decks, five decks today. Let's just say there's 50 on average, okay, between the five decks. That is 250 cards and one twin flame card out of 250 cards and the twin flame card decides to show up. I really feel like that is validation from your angels and guides to let you know that, you know what? <laughs> this is your journey. You need to let go of stress as the magical unicorns say. The magical unicorns say, let go of that stress. Let it go. It is not serving you, Divine Feminine. It is not serving you in the least. It's hurting you. It is not helping you. It is dragging you down. <laughs> and in order to start to heal, please do some energy work. Whether that is Reiki healing, Reiki healing meditation, do some yoga, do some Tai Chi, do some Qigong. Yesterday, I was feeling very um, ungrounded. And so I made the decision that I need to start doing daily yoga again, where I had been doing it for so long. And then I fell off the yoga wagon and I hadn't been doing it as often. Full on classes. I'll do yoga stretches every day, but full on like hour long sessions. I have not done in a while. So I feel like um, to let go of stress, do some energetic healing. It's so important, especially at this time. I feel like there's just something going on. There's something going on. And you want to be a part of the 10%, not the 90%, hopefully. Hopefully. So I love this. This says illusion. And it says embrace the truth. I really want to read this for you, Divine Feminines, and I feel like initially, the initial phases, what is in the picture? What is in the picture? We have this beautiful feminine, Divine Feminine, if you will. We have this beautiful feminine who has her back to the mirror. So she is turned away from the mirror. She is turned away from looking at herself. She, literally in this picture, she is turned away from looking at herself. Her back is to the mirror. Therefore, she cannot see herself. She is looking to everyone else and everything else but herself. And if she would just turn around and look into the mirror, she would know who she is. So I feel compelled again to read what this is and what the intended message is. Illusion means having a false perception of something or someone that is not real. Everyone is destined for greatness. However, you may be held back by something you willingly embrace but may not realize it. Your ego is chained to, listen, <laughs> a comfortable materialistic lifestyle or an unhealthy relationship. This negative illusion is holding you back from being who you truly are. A mental and emotional rigorous self-evaluation is needed in order to move forward with confidence and embrace your beauty and magic of life. The mantra is I see things with truth and move forward with confidence. Now, here's what I see. I see that the illusion is not the twin flame journey. That is not the illusion here. The illusion is looking outward to everybody else who is seemingly so happy, so joyous, so stress-free and wanting that. 
That is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it's like an unhealthy attachment to seeing and coveting what everyone else has. So you're in this situation where you're in this twin flame world, <laughs> right? You've been pulled to this twin flame world. And instead of turning inward, turning to yourself in the mirror, turning to look at yourself in the mirror and go, all right, I'm here with me. <laughs> I am here looking at me in the mirror. I am here, I'm looking at me in the mirror. I'm gonna like tear myself apart and then put myself back together again. And I'm going to look into every shadow. I'm gonna look at every flaw. I'm gonna look at every part of me that is beautiful and wonderful and magical. And I'm gonna take the time to really gaze at myself in the mirror and look at everything that I am in my whole life for everything that it is. And instead, you turn your back to the mirror and you look at everyone else and go, why are they happy? Why are they in a couple? Why are they in a romance? Why do they get to have what I don't get to have? And you become egotistical, you become jealous, you become nasty. <laughs> and I feel like the illusion is that everything else is perfect. That is the illusion here. It's the ego belief that everything else is perfect. Why am I not perfect? Why is my life not perfect? And I think the truth is the truth that you know what this is for you. You know what this is for you. You know what this is for your life. And in the book, when the book mentioned unhealthy relationship, that has nothing to do with your twin flame. That is an unhealthy relationship with yourself because if you're turning your back to yourself, if the mirror is here behind you, but you're looking out here, then you're not looking at yourself. You're ignoring yourself. That unhealthy relationship with the self, the self that is crying out to be healed and crying out to be whole and crying out to be happy now. As I mentioned in the union reading um, on Monday, I'll put the link here, but you're ignoring yourself and therefore you are having an unhealthy relationship with yourself. And you can blame it on the twin flame journey, but that doesn't change anything. It absolutely doesn't change anything. And when you close your eyes to the self, when you close your eyes to yourself, when you turn your back on yourself and say, look at that. I want that over there. Look how happy they look. I want that. Or you say like, you know, Look at all those children that they have. I want that. Why don't I have that now? You become jealous. You become possessive with the things that you do have. It's, it's just, it's a very ugly energy to turn to. So I know you're stressed out. Believe me, I know this. I'm on this journey too. I already told you that. I am on this journey too. Like I know how stressful it is and I know how hard it is. And I know how hard it is to like gaze at yourself and look at yourself and say, why aren't you happy with yourself? Because happiness comes from within. Happiness does not come from external sources at all. It comes with your connection to your spirit and your spirit's connection to your higher power, but that's all internal. That can't be seen with the naked eye. It can't be felt through sensory input from food or drink or smelling a flower even like it doesn't come from sensory input it comes from an inner knowing that happiness is now happiness is here with me and the happiness that i'm seeking outside of myself is just an illusion turning my back on myself is just an illusion i i feel twin flame divine feminine i feel that this is where the real work is beginning because for many of you that haven't been doing this. And if you want to make it to the end, you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to turn around. You're going to have to turn around and face yourself. 
and say, why am I not happy now? Why, why should, why do I believe that my happiness must come from external sources? Why do I believe that? And I, I believe that's super serious, but look, like, honestly, guys, the Prince of Summer with the Twin Flame card, come on. The Prince of Cups, the romantic gesture from a person who is ready for romance, coming for romance, like ready to come forward, is your twin flame. Just, you know, gosh, you have to have faith. And I would say start committing yourself to do this energy work and like the healing work that is required of you. Because you're not going to make it out alive. And when I say alive, I mean, guess what's going to happen? And it's so funny, my sister Annette, the, I know many of you have met her not only on the live stream chat, but also in an Akashic record reading. My sister was doing an Akashic record reading with someone who was saying that they might want to abandon the twin flame journey. And the message that came through was that's fine. You can abandon it, but you're going to have to do it all over again in the next lifetime. So you can abandon it, but like you have to repeat everything in the next lifetime. So is that what you want to do? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You might be saying like, well, I'll forget by then, but then the pain of it, it's going to be the same. So I, I believe the choice is obviously yours, but I would say you're never going to be happy if you keep turning your back on yourself. You're never going to be happy. So the happiness comes from within. It's not from the other person. It's not from envy or coveting something else or someone else. So I know this is really heavy, but I feel like it was light at the same time. Like in its heaviness, it gave you hope. That's what I really believe about this week. So thank you so much for joining me, Divine Feminines. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other twin themes. And thank you for your support of my YouTube channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can join a boot camp. You can pledge your support on Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash Michelle S. Fonden. And I will see you in the next video.